everyone, this is Jason here, and after waiting a few months, probably around two to three, and always talking about it, first of all, I want to say thank you very much for everybody over at Zephyr Paintball in Ventura, California. Definitely check them out at ZephyrPaintball.com. Great prices, great guys, great customer service. We have finally got our hands on our Virtue Via. So I'm not going to show you what color we got or colors. The one thing with the Virtue Via, if you haven't been keeping track of the post or the videos, it is a complete color customizable mask. You can pick your lens, your lens frame, and you can pick your face guard or your lower part of your mask. So when you look at these masks, the colors on the website do not do them justice. When you see these in person, the colors are phenomenal. It was a really hard choice. One thing I do recommend is customize your mask. I mean, you can pick so many outrageous color schemes. It's freaking awesome. I mean, this is one thing that I really in, am happy that Virtue took their time and made a complete color scheme mask of your choice. You can't be. So without further ado, first thing we want to talk about real quick sorry, is the box it comes in is a standard cardboard box, okay? But the one thing I like the most about this box, it's really colorful. It talks about the product all over the place. It basically breaks down the mask in the back, breaks it down even a step further on the side, and then you can actually keep going on the opposite side and they give you a little web diagram. So the box alone virtue took their time with now i know i was gonna say how much do they go for it depends if you pick a basic color or if you pick a customize a customizable color when you do the customize it is going to be a little bit more expensive but you're going to be able to get say an updated lens for half the price you would if you go to the store and buy it so like i said i rec i recommend to customize these so without further ado Here is the Virtue VO. Now what we did, we chose to have the smoke lens with the lime green lens, uh, lens holder or lens cover. And the bottom, we chose black, pink, and green. So AKA dubbed the watermelon mask, which I think is actually kind of interesting. So within the box, if you actually lift up the assembly that the mask comes in, you do have a little goodie bag. So let's take a look at it. So put the mask away because I know we definitely got to talk about the mask. So in the bag, you do have a little installation manual for disassembling the marker. Go ahead and flip it over too. And that's enough for the manual. Okay, so you actually get a spare lens. Oh, I have it upside down. Sorry about that. A spare lens container made out of a very soft material, so it will not scratch your lens. Lens, sorry. Then you actually get a goggle bag. Same thing. Very nice material. Very silky, as funny as that sounds. So this will not scratch your max, your mask at all. But you know what? Enough with that. Let's take a look at the mask. So <clears throat> when I went to try this thing on, I'm going to say this has got to be one of the most comfortable masks I've worn in an incredibly long, long time. Very comfortable. Now we'll go over a few things that really just took my eye by storm. Now, we all know that this mask is completely break down. You can break down the whole thing. You can even take the foam out to clean it easier. If you don't like playing with foam, you can take out the, the top piece of the foam. A few things that I really, really liked is it does come with soft ears. So you're not going to have that hardened plastic on your ear. The big difference between a soft ear and a plastic ear is a soft ear, if you get shot, it's not going to hurt as bad. A plastic basically going to slap you. Not too happy about that. The lower 
face guard is actually a hardened rubber. So this is not a hardened plastic. It's a hardened rubber. So when you get shot, it's going to move a little bit, but bounce back. For example, if you play with a lot of rental masks or not what you want to call a tournament grade mask, when you get shot, the mask literally slaps you across your face. This will definitely not do it because since the rubber is going to retract the ball. And you can just tell by looking at this mask, they really took their time with this product. I mean, you can actually see metallic Allen screws instead of plastic. Even the strap alone, once we turn it over, you can see has the three layer of gel to hold better while you adjust it. The actual virtue goggle containers or guides, whatever you want to call them, are a heavy plastic. I mean, I can barely bend those and I'm putting a lot of pressure. Don't want to wreck them. I don't want to break them. It's brand new. I don't want to destroy it. The other thing, which I'm really happy that Virtue did, and we are all guilty of this at one point or another, they actually, now I don't know if we can get this on camera, so I'm going to try to move this the best I can. They actually include a sticker to tell you, please remove this film before playing. I have forgot to do that before, and I wonder why everything was so blurry. So... Little stuff like this takes it to a whole new level, if you ask me. So, enough with talking about the masks. Now what we're going to do, of course, we have a die, I4, and then we have my old school events. So what we're going to do, we're going to line them up and get try to get all these in the camera the best we can. So, there you go. Now, the few things you're going to notice is it's not as small as the i4, okay? It's not as close to your face. You have a little bit of room, so if you're a big guy with a big head like me, this is going to fit beautifully. It's not going to be tight on your jawline. Half your chin is not going to be exposed. Then when you compare it to the event, it's not as big as the event, because yes, the event is a huge mask. I'm not going to lie about that. Looking at the event, looking at the VO, looking at the I-4, the VO is going to have more breathability. Now, what is breathability? In front of all masks, you usually have some form of a grill system or some kind of grill, whatever. You have little air holes. So in the I-4, most of your air holes and most of your breathability is right here. So then we pull out the event. The event, you can tell the kind of sporadic all over the place. The virtue is just bam. So many breathable areas. So what that's going to be is when you're running and you're having to grasp your breath, it's not going to be difficult to take in air. It's going to be easy to breathe. When you're yelling, it's going to be fine. You're not going to have to worry about anything. So now, now remember everybody, I have a huge dome. Okay. I wear a size XL hat. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put on each one of these masks so you can see the difference on your face. So the first one we're going to go ahead and do, let me push these right here, is we're going to do my old school event, which is old. It's like the first batch they made back in 2009. Okay. So we're going to put it on. Okay, so the one thing with the event, and I hope you can hear me, so I got to shout a little bit, is you have a, a major gap. I can actually fit my hand in my mask, okay? That's one thing that kind of concerns me. When you can fit something like this, that's telling me it's no problem for a paintball to get up in here and hit you. So as you can see, even with the event, my jaw is still exposed. Like I said, I have a really big head, so please take that in consideration. But as you can see, I'm actually having to kind of yell for you to hear me. Okay, we'll take that off. Now we're going to get put on the I-4. Okay. And with the I-4, I can tell I don't have to yell as much as the event. But same thing. I can get a little bit of my hand in there. But as you can see, compared to almost a whole fist to a few fingers. 
Now with the i4, it's a comf it's a good mask, don't get me wrong, but if, like I said, if you have a big head, like I do, you feel a lot of pressure right here because it's basically sucking into your face. You also have a lot of pressure on your ears, which I do not like, but that's that one. Now, ow, and they're kind of a pain in the ass to get off. Moment of truth, the VO. Now, of course, this has not been adjusted to my head yet, so bear with me while I kind of tweak the straps a little bit. Okay, now, I am talking normal right now. I can hear my voice perfect. It is not muffled. I do not see or hear any pressurization in my face. My ears are covered, but they are not squeezed in. It is very comfortable right here. All through here, very soft. I don't feel pressure on my eyebrows or pressure on my forehead. And I actually have to move my jawline back to get three fingers in there. Two is pretty normal. So, that, so we go from a fist to about three to four fingers on the die to two for the VO. And like I said, my jawline is still exposed. I'm not going to lie about that, but it's very comfortable. My head is not pressurized. That is a very keen thing in paintball. And it looks pretty cool. And I feel like the Predator wearing this thing. So, the one thing everybody always, you know, asks is, is it worth the money for a mask that you can 100% customize? Heck yeah, it is. I mean, you can disassemble this entire mask in pieces, which I love, makes it easier for cleaning. So, hope I can't wait to play with this tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to Striker. I'm gonna break this bad boy in. If you see me there, ask to check it out. I have no problem letting you use it, feel it, whatever you want. So other than that, this is Jason. And yet again, I wanna say thank you to ZephyrPaintball.com for hooking it up with this mask. Really appreciate those guys. I paid full price, but it was worth every penny if you ask me. Until then, this is Jason with the Virtuvio customizable mask. Thank you so much for watching.